Hello. In this video we will discuss about lovebirds genetic. In lovebirds genetic there is many point about to know if you're breeding birds and want to perfect breeding from parents. In genetics there is some point need to understand. Number 1. Punnett square. Number 2. Homozygous. Number 3. Heterozygous. Number 4. Phenotype. Number 5. Genotype. These genetics is easy to understand so let's start on board. So what is a Punnett square? A Punnett square is a graphical representation of the possible genotypes of an offspring arising from a particular cross or breeding event. Creating a Punnett square requires knowledge of the genetic composition of the parents. The various possible combinations of their gametes are encapsulated in a tabular format. Therefore, each box in the table represents one fertilization event. For example, we are taking both birds are same male and female bluefisher. Here we are talking about genetic, not mutation so easy to understand we are using simple bird. So what will offspring if we breed these two birds? Look carefully in Punnett table we are taking chromosomes XX from male, and XY from female. Next step is let's calculate, what will be the offspring in Punnett table? The first male chromosome X match with female X. In result it's double X now turn the second male X will match with female first X. It also gives the same result double X. Now match male first chromosome X. Match with female second chromosome Y. The result will be XY. Now match male second chromosome X. With female second chromosome Y. And its results is XY. So the Punnett table results shows that. 50% males and 50% females in results. I repeat we are not adding any mutation. In this pair we are taking simple birds for testing in Punnett square. So here is the topic about Punnett square. I hope you guys well learned about Punnett square. Our next topic is homozygous and heterozygous. What is a homozygous? Each variation is called an allele. You inherit two alleles for each gene. One comes from your biological mother and one comes from your biological father. So in birds also same biological system. For example, we paired up in previous Punnett square table. Both are blue fisher. There is no splits. Or any other birds are at in these birds. Like no splits in each bird. Birds having their own pure bloodline like blue fisher simple. In other words we can say that. A bird is look like simple fisher and from genetically it's also a simple fisher. So we call them it's homozygous. The next topic is heterozygous. What is a heterozygous? There are different versions of genes. Each version is called an allele. For every gene, you inherit two alleles, one from your biological father and one from your biological mother. Together, these alleles are called a genotype. For example in heterozygous both birds pair up from different mutation or color. Like green fisher pair up with blue fisher. The offspring will be all green fisher splits blue. But they are visually green fisher not blue. So genetically they are heterozygous. Because you can't recognize that they are split blue or not so you will take test breed. Always remember any split bird are heterozygous. For example. We pair up green fisher with blue fisher. Now cross each male chromosome with female chromosome same as in Punnett table. These offspring will look like green fisher but actually they are green fisher splits blue. So here it in results of offspring all visual green fisher but they are actually splits blue also. So we call them heterozygous. The last topic is phenotype and genotype. So what is a phenotype? The sum of an organism's observable characteristics is their phenotype. A key difference between phenotype and genotype is that, whilst genotype is inherited from an organism's parents, the phenotype is not. For example, these two birds are blue fisher so it's phenotype by look but we don't know about these birds genetics. 
A bird which we can see from naked eye it's called phenotype. And in genotype if we know these two birds genetic like they are splits of some other birds like blue fish or split opalane. And blue split pale fallow. It's called genotype. I hope now you clearly understand about phenotype and genotype difference. I hope this episode of genetic is well understandable. If you have any question about genetic, comment below, like, share, and the hit the subscribe button. Thank you.